Hi, my name is Eddie Salazar, and we are on set at our restaurant location, which is the first scene of the film and the last scene of the film. We just shot the last scene of the film, and I'm in it. Uh, I'm very lucky to be in it. I'm in the scene with Carla Lemley, who, for those who don't know, Carla Lemley is 101, going to be 102 this year. And she was in Dracula, the very, very original, and spoke the very first lines of the Dracula film. Uh, among the rugged peaks that frown down on the portal pass are found crumbling castles. Age gone by. That's very kind. Oh my god. Years, 75 years ago she said those lines. Yes, <laughs> and what's really neat about that is that she has a very final lines of this film, Mansion of Blood. So I thought that would be that. What am I supposed to do now? My name is Catherine Coven Pacino. I play uh, Priscilla, the waitress, one of the three waitresses. And um, one of the last scenes, I wait on Carla Lemley. Yes. Oh. All right. Did you read the script? Did you see your scenes? Oh, I did. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna help help you through. You only have one line here today. Yes. Oh, how do you do that? Right? I'm just... a witch. <laughs> we have a couple here today. Yeah, you don't oh. need them. <laughs> How does it feel that Scream Queen is meeting one of the original Scream Queens? Oh my god. It's incredible. When I heard I was working with Carla, I uh, looked her up on IMDb, and that's when I found out she was from Chicago. So I was like, I have to talk to her, because we have something in common here. You see, in a spread in Fangoria. And then I got connected with them. <laughs> Oh, that's so kind of that I did. I met somebody. Well, then I auditioned for them, and that's how I got this right here. Okay. Uh, do you, yes. Do you oh, she's beautiful. Yes. Okay, let's go to the map. Just go back to 28. Hi. 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 Hi.
Oh yeah, it was wonderful. You, you were you were you're just such a natural when you just fall into it. It's just great. I I, I promise you, I made sure you looked good. Oh, thank you. Dracula, The Phantom of the Opera, and now Mansion of Blood. It's like three major horror films. Uh, yeah. Are you, do you feel you're getting in a um, in a niche, or, <laughs> or do you, are you happy with it? This this seems to me the most horror horror film of them all. <laughs> the others weren't quite horror films. We're gonna do a perk close up. You want to stay and watch, or do you want to go back and have something to eat? No, I'll stay and watch Great. Perfect. Yes. I was delighted. I was pretty young when I first did Dracula. And now I'm pretty old when I'm doing another one. 101, you know. But I don't feel that way. You know, I feel very young. <laughs> one, two. I'm going to take one more. One. Two. Did you get a chance to see the Phantom of the Opera musical? Uh, no, I didn't. I didn't get to see that. But uh, but it wouldn't be as good as the movie. Okay? <laughs> <laughs> that was a, a wonderful time of my life. Well, everything is a wonderful time of my life. <laughs> We've met before. Well, you, you're probably a previous life. Gary, this is Carla. Carla, it's a blessing and an honor to meet you. Oh, my goodness. Thank you so much. I've been doing this for 41 years, and I think that's <laughs> But it will never keep up with you. Oh. 1927. 19. The opera. Oh. Yeah. Of course. I have a lot of questions for you. Oh. <laughs> All right. God, this is an honor. This is such an honor. Oh, my. Such an honor to be with you. Oh, goodness. With you. <laughs> Thank you. I call it an angelic intervention. <laughs> the angel, your angels and my angels cross together and have some fun oh. in front of a camera. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's beautiful. Thank you Frank, very much. It's an honor to be with you. <laughs> oh, yeah. Thank you. Oh. Okay. Give you my energy. Oh, I love respect that. Respect and honor. I'll. I'll Use it. <laughs> Good! <laughs> I'm using what you're giving me, too. Okay. Dude, we're going to be batting a thousand. <laughs> Let's hear it for Carla. Woo! Oh, that's the one. Wow. It's going to be an amazing thing. We're going to have to crop this, too. Tell them how you got the, the little part in Dracula. How did that happen? And they handed me a little, not a, not a script, but the lines that I was supposed to read from the the play, I mean, uh, what, what it was, and um, so I read the script right off the bat, and uh, it was part of the movie. I was a secretary, and uh, so that, that was the opening scene. <laughs> and those lions have become immortal, haven't they? Those opening lions. Uh, yeah. How many years Among ago? Among the rugged peaks that, that began that. Yeah, and that was how many years ago? That was. I understand you li actually lived at Universal Studios for a while on the lot. Is that true? Yes, I lived there 14 years. What's it like living on a movie studio? Yeah, oh, it, it was uh, it was wonderful. Wasn't there a wonderful zoo at Universal? Oh, fabulous zoo! They had every kind of animal there, <laughs> and. Um, it, it was it was just a fairyland to live at Universal. Wasn't there a they favorite? Did you have a favorite animal? Wasn't there a camel? Yes, <laughs> we had a camel there, and occasionally uh, it would get loose, and it would make the trek. It must have been over a mile to our house, which was right in front of the boulevard, Magnuson Boulevard. And uh, it was a huge lawn, enormous lawn. And sometimes I'd wake up in the morning and I'd look out the window and there was the camel just having a ball with the lawn, you know. So I would go out with a little dish of oatmeal or what have you, you know. And uh, I would go over and uh, sort of t talk to the camel and uh, 
I would lead the camel to one of the garages, and then I'd call the back lot, and, to, and I said, hey, I have, I've got the, the camel up here, so you have to pick it up. And that was one of the stories of Universal. <laughs> yeah. Do you remember telling me the story of how Uncle Carl picked the name for the studio? It was due to a truck. They were looking out the window, uh -huh. and this truck went by, and it had universal uh, whatever it was they were selling. But he said, I think I've got the name. I've got it, you know. And that's how universal became universal. <laughs>